All right. So you just pick up the new Mac Mini M4. First off, congrats. It's an absolute powerhouse. It's super fast, great for editing, design, multitasking, you name it. But let's be real for a sec. The port situation in the Mac Mini, it's not great. Having to reach around the back every time you want to plug in your portable drive, your SD card, keyboard, whatever, it gets all fast. That's why a good docking station or a hub can totally change your setup. It makes things way more convenient and a lot more powerful. This is the Mini Supuru iExpandMate Mini 218B Pro. Yeah, the name is a bit mouthful. But is it the docking station your Mac Mini has been waiting for? Let's find out. Big thanks to Mini Supuru for sending this over for review. But as always, I'll give you my honest thoughts. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Let's open this up, and yeah, we'll keep it nice and chill with a little ASMR style unboxing. Now let's talk about ports, because that's what you're here for, right? On the front, you've got a 10 gigabit USB-C port, a two USB-A 2.0 ports, great for your mouse, keyboard, or any random accessories, and a full-size SD card reader and a micro SD card slot. So right off the bat, you got easy front access for everyday stuff. No more reaching behind your Mac. Then on this side, there's another 10 gigabit USB-A port, so this is nice and fast. And on the other side, you get a 3.5mm headphone jack and a built-in USB-C cable that goes straight into your Mac Mini. It is super clean, super simple. Everything you get expect to be, no weird layouts or missing ports like you get with some docks.
So, I didn't have a spare and that to SSD lying around, but I pulled my 1TB Samsung EVO Plus 990 from another dock to test it out. It works great. Fast, responsive, no issues at all. Running the Blackmagic disk speed test, the read and write speed is hovering around 800 to 970 megabits per second. That means you can edit 4K videos straight from the internal drive. No stutters, no lag. For creators, that's huge. Now, that's not the full speed this Samsung SSD can do, but that's expected. This is not a Thunderbolt dock. It's a USB-C. And those front USB ports also supports 10 gigabit per second, so transferring files from an external SSD or camera is fast and reliable. So, is it worth picking up? If you're looking to expand your Mac mini ports, add some internal storage, or just clean up your desk, it's a solid pick. It looks great and works really well. And actually, it makes your workflow smoother, especially if you're a creator or just someone who uses their setup a lot. There are a couple of small things to know though. The SD and micro SD card slots are UHS-1, so you're not getting blazing fast speeds, but they are totally fine for importing photos or video footage. The built-in USB host cable is also a bit longer than I'd like. Not a deal breaker, but it does stick out a bit. You can clean up with a cable tie or route it behind your setup to keep things tidy. And honestly, I do wish they included at least one HDMI port. Would have been super handy for hooking up an extra monitor without needing another dongle. But overall, the price and what you're getting is a pretty sweet upgrade for your Mac mini setup. Alright, that's it for this one. I'll leave a link down below if you want to check out the iExpand Mate Mini 218 Pro for yourself. Got any question? Drop them in the comments. I'll do my best to help out. And if this video was helpful, feel free to hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Adios.